Hello family, my name is Chris, I am your home gamer dad, and it is time for us to dive into the dark depths of the catacombs of Clank in order to be able to uncover riches, steal some artifacts, and hopefully get ourselves a nice big heaping pile of loot as we avoid the dragon. The downside is, we gotta do it alone. So this will be a solo mode adventure for you guys. I'll be using the front side of the game board. That's the one with the blue sky. The one with the red sky is more of an advanced side. I will be doing that eventually, but this is just going to be on the standard side, the one that most people are familiar with, always the first one you're going to play with and whatnot. This, again, also uses, as I said, the solo mode variant rules, which does require the Dire Wolf Digital Games uh, app that you can find either online for your PC or on your phone, iPad, Android, uh, iPhone, whatever it may be. But you are going to need that app in order to play the solo mode if you want to play along with me or just check it out or anything along that ways. If you don't know how to play the solo mode for Clank and see how it incorporates to the main game itself, I did do a how to play about this as well, which should be somewhere on the screen, somewhere that you can click on and head on over to watch that. But overall, my playthrough of this should kind of explain everything as I go along. It's just the how to play goes into more detail. So I say, who needs a party? Who needs a bunch of people following you around? You know, you go down there by yourself, you're going to make a lot less noise. The dragon will never know you're there, right? Right? Well, I guess we're going to find out as we move our way through Clank Solo Mode. Okay, solo adventurers, here we are in the standard mode of Clank. You can tell because it has the blue sky to it. This is pretty much the map that everybody would generally play as normal mode, uh, what you would be teaching the first time. If you ever want to really get like kind of good at the game and know like which paths you want to take, you want to do the normal mode. I am going to do the reverse side at some point, which is a more advanced mode. But for right now, I like this also, even though this doesn't change, this over here changes quite often when it comes to the game. Uh, so I did my initial layout of the six cards. I do have my mercenaries here, my stack of mercenaries, stack of explorers, stack of secret tomes, and my single goblin card, but I can beat that guy over and over again in order to gain a gold. Uh, my main deck, my discard pile. We have the flying carpet right here, which is a great movement card. This turn ignore monsters in tunnels, uh, and you don't have to stop in crystal caves. It's six to purchase, which I, I'm guaranteed it's going to be gone before I even get there. Uh, an alchemist, which gives me two money if I have a secret tome. A merling, he is actually from the Dark Depths expansion, so those are mixed within here as well. A ladder device, they give me two movement. A dragon shrine device, which I better get out of here because it has a danger. Uh, if I pull anything for Nikki, this will increase her attack, but at least I'll get some stuff if I uh, buy this and get rid of it. Uh, and then the Burglar's Boots, which is amazing. It's either minus two clank, or a move, or a coin. Silver style, only one uh, thing that I need to buy for it. I'm going to try to pick this up within the first round. I'm also going to leave some room here in order to be able to like put like anything that I've earned throughout the game. So you guys can see all the coins and treasures and whatnot. And that'll kind of be uh, populating here. And then it'll be easier to add it up at the end. So let's head on into the app and hit Clank. Boom, there we are. We are doing the Clank solo mode. So we'll click right over here. And I am going to be green. I have set myself up as the home gamer dad already. Uh, it's the only one that I have right now because I'm the only one playing this solo, of course. So hope I, I did. I selected me. Select me. Thank you. Uh, basically, no matter what color you choose, Threat is going to be red, unless you choose red, in which case I believe Threat is going to be green. But I'm going to be green just to make things easier. So I'll Clank Solo. And we have to remove the 7 and the 30 from the map. So back to the map. So we have the 30, which comes off here, and the 7, which comes off here. So my goal for this, and I admit I'm a bit of a chicken when it comes to getting down in here, is I'll come down and I'll grab maybe like the 10 or the 15, because those are like the easiest ones to get, and then run out of here as fast as possible. I'm going to actually try to go for this 25, whatever the highest value artifact I can get. And if I can manage to grab it and get out of here in time, that would be fantastic. I have escaped the dungeon multiple times. My score is not that great because I'm not collecting minor secrets or major secrets or along the way, or at least that many of them. Speaking of which, let's hit OK. And it talks about every minor secret should only have one placed in it instead of two, like in the normal game. I've already set that up. 
place the dragon token where it needs to go. So Nikki starts right here down in the bottom corner. That's easy enough. Two player game, even though it's a one player, but that's where she starts. Yep, as I thought, red pawn and cubes are gonna be for our threat, as would be the case. So let's go ahead and okay. Let's hit okay and start our solo quest. Uh, first object or first quest would be buy a mercenary. I have two turns to do that in. That actually doesn't seem like a problem. Mercenaries are a good one that I like to start with uh, early on anyway. So let's go ahead and shuffle our initial 10 card deck together. And we'll go one, two, three, four, five. So those will be our five starting cards. And we have, okay, we have a stumble, a scramble, sidestep, and two burgles. Okay. Well, movement-wise, that's pretty easy. We're just going to go one, two. So that's the two movement that we've gotten uh, for uh, our cards. And unfortunately, a clank makes us put this up here. Now, remember, in the beginning of the game, you got to put three of yours in and three of whatever color threat there are in here. So that's why there's six cubes, and now there's a seventh because of the clank that I made. And now I have three to spend. I am definitely going to be getting these Burgle Boots right here for one. And you know what? Let's do the quest right now. Let's buy that Mercenary for two because I could always use some uh, sword power in order to kill some goblins. Let's put these in the discard pile right here, these on top, and then let's go ahead and hit that quest complete. One turn, no problem. Faithful friends, as always, worth having minus two clank. Sweet, that is great. I'm more than happy with taking two clank off the board, especially this early in the game. All right, next turn. Boom, so the third card is removed. One, two, three, so that means Mr. Merling is gone. He's not going to the discard pile, he's actually trashed. So he is gone from the game completely. And now we refill uh, these two spots. We got shortcut plus one clank. When you discard this, gain two move. So it's one move always. I can discard it to gain two more move. And then uh, when I acquire it, I actually gain a move. Oh, that's really cool. And then, oh, the watcher. When arrived, all player has to put in one clank. If I defeat it, I gain three gold. And then all other players uh, put in one plank. clank. And remember, threat does not count as a player, so all that extra clank that would be talked about uh, doesn't actually go in. It's only going to be my clank that is worried about. All right, with that said, let's go ahead and just go one, two, three, four, five, as we have our final uh, cards here. And uh, yeah, there we go. We got four buying power and one stumble. So the clank goes in. Can't do much about that. Oh, let's actually hit the uh, thing here. Clear the fifth card in the dungeon row within three turns. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, the dragon shrine. I could do that right now, actually, and I wouldn't mind doing that in order to get rid of that danger thing. Uh, two gold or trash a card in your play area or discard pile. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to spend the four skill that I have, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, use this right now. Devices are a one-time use thing, so this is going to go to the discard pile, which I'll do right now. And I think I'm going to, I am going to trash a clank because it says I can trash any card in play or a discard pile. So I have two clanks, both of them are gone. So I'm going to trash one of these and get it out of my deck. I don't have anything else to purchase. So that goes here. Let's go ahead and uh, complete our quest. Did you? And two more clank gone. Sweet. Goodbye. Sounds good to me. And let's go ahead and hit next turn. And what do we got? Uh, the fourth and sixth card, and if any of them are worth victory points, I add three threat. One, two, three, four, and six. So both of these are gone completely from the game. Neither are worth victory points because you would see that in the upper right corner, so I actually am not adding any threat. Ooh, good luck there. And now we refill with one, oh no, two, three. Some good cards coming in, a white pearl, a pickpocket, oh, that sounds fun, and the elven cloak, but because of this, Nikki attacks. All right, so Nikki is on the two-player spot, so that's three cubes that I pull from the bag. But first, I put in all of this, so only five cubes go in, which is not bad, considering it could have been a whole lot more, because uh, I kept removing all the clank, which was great, and I didn't have to add in any threat. One, two, three, kushka! All right, three black cubes pulled from the bag. I'm just going to leave the black cubes over here just so we can watch them start piling up. Great that she doesn't hit me, because that's what these black cubes are. They're basically misses. But there's only 24 of these in the bag, so the more of these I pull, the greater of a chance she is going to, like, nail me with her fire breath. Okay, next quest. 
generate three movement on your turn within three turns. Not quite sure if I'm going to be able to do that. I do have a lot of move. Well, no, I only have two cards that do movement. There are a lot of movement based cards still on the field uh, that I can purchase. So we'll see what we got. So we shuffle up here. We'll go one, two, three, four, five. Put that down. And cool. We got the Burgle Boots. We got, I can actually do it. I have Scramble. I have Sidestep and I have two Burgles. So if I activate the Burgle Boots and say that they uh, give me a boot, then I've just earned three movement within this turn. So I can actually complete the quest because I've generated the three movement, which is great. And minus two Clank, I don't have it. I was really hoping to get another movement. All right, so what I'm going to do then is I'm going to move over here to this spot in order to be able to get the secret that's there, which is... Ooh, uh, uh, something that gives me movement. So that's a potion that I can use for later. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my third movement to go down here to this crystal cave and grab a oh, potion of healing. Oh, that's great. So both of these come to me. I'm just going to put them right here so I know I have them for later use. And because I ended my turn in, or I'm, I moved into a crystal cave, I can't move anymore anyway. So I've used all my movement for the turn, which is perfect because I'm exactly where I need to be. Man, I wish I had one more skill so I can get that Elven Cloak. I think for now I'm just going to take the Explorer. As awesome as the Pickpocket is in order to be able to constantly pull cards into my deck, I don't want to overload it right now, and I think the movement and the extra skill to buy better cards is well worth it. Okay, put all this into the discard pile. That is actually more move, which is great for us. Let's go ahead and go to the next quest. Oh, that's right. No, I got to do this first. Next turn. So fourth and sixth card again. So the White Pearl and the Elven Cloak are gone, which thinks I really like that Elven Cloak. No other effects, but we do reload. Dwarven Peddler and Brilliance. Draw three cards. Are you kidding? Oh, that's amazing. Uh, two gold, one movement, worth four, exper or four victory points if you have two of the following. Chalice, Dragon Egg, and Monkey Idol. Oh, that's, that's something that you'd need to collect a lot of stuff with. All right, let's see how much further into the dungeon we can get as things start coming on. Claim a potion secret. Oh, man, that stinks. Ah, oh, I have them already. One, two, three, four, five. That's not cool. I may not be able to do that depending on uh, what else I have. And look at this. I have four, uh, four burgles. So that's just one, two, three, four buying power and a stumble. So the stumble tosses a clank into the center there. I'm actually going to take the Dwarven Peddler for four. Use them all. I was really thinking about the Pickpocket, but I think this would be better because she's just going to constantly give me gold. And I plan on making myself down to the market soon, and I would like to have enough gold in order to be able to like purchase something, uh, preferably a backpack, in order to be able to hold more artifacts. All right, let's go ahead and put these into the discard pile here. Uh, we have not done anything else, so let's go ahead to the next turn and trash the fourth card and add a clank. So let's go ahead and just add that clank now. And one, two, three. Hey, I bought it. Sweet. So I actually don't even have to trash anything. But I do have to replace it with the Bracers of Agility. Oh, man, it's so good. I have a draw three and a draw five. Please, app, please, please leave them here till I can afford them. All right, next round. Claim a Potion Secret within three turns. Great. I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. So we got that here. Now I get the chance to move on out. The problem is it's like I can move down, over, down, and around. Maybe I could do that, depending on how much uh, movement I earn over the next few cards. But let's see, let's see. So I drew one. There we are. That's a good amount. Two, three, four, five. Let's see what I got. And so a Dwarven Peddler, I do get my two move, and I get two gold, which is great. We'll just start piling them here so you guys can see them. My Explorer, which gives me another move, and I'm very happy for that. My Mercenary, uh, my Burgle Boots, which I may be able to use, and my Burgle, 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 oh, good, saying the same word multiple times, so crazy. All right, so I can have one, two, possibly three movement, but definitely two attacks. So what I'm going to use is one of my movement and one of my uh, swords is going to match up in order to defeat this monster right here. So I go down without taking any damage. That's one movement. I'm going to use a second movement to go to the right over here and see what this is. Oh, it's a dragon egg. Oh, that's that's good and bad at the same time. 
It's good for my dwarven peddler, but bad because Nikki moves up one because she's mad that I took her egg. All right, so this then would go into my supply of uh, treasure. So that'll go here. That's fun. Um, what I think then I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use my burgle boots to just do one more movement down here. And then I'm going to possibly, uh, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to use my potion of movement. Yeah, I'm going to use my potion of movement, discard that. And I'm actually going to move over here to this crystal cave and finish my movement completely and pick up, ah, a double sword. So I get a double attack. I could just expunge that in order to kill a goblin, but I'm not going to do that now. I'm just going to hold on to these. So treasures, potions, money. There you go. I can't use my other sword for anything, but I have one, two, three, four to buy with. And I'm going to take the pickpocket for three. I know I have one left over, but I think I'll be able to acquire some good stuff with that. And I don't know, it's just been staring me in the face and telling me, buy me, buy me, buy me, you'll need me. Okay, here we go. That's all in the discard pile. I did not complete that. So next turn, I lose the first card and add three threat. So three threat goes right in here and then the first card oh which is my flying carpet my best thing in order to avoid stuff is completely gone so fairly expensive stuff here but you know it is what it is oh no a dragon attack but an orc grunt that i might be able to defeat uh, i probably am going to need more mercenaries or at least a silver spear anywho with that said nikki attacks all these go in here she's still only hitting me for three cubes so that's still good. At least I'm only pulling three. Shake a shake, I'll shake it all around. Shake it all around. It's one, two, three. Yeah. Oh, three black cubes again. Ooh. Again, only 24 of these in the bag. So the more I pull, the greater chance I'm going to get hit. But hey, I'm doing pretty good so far. All right. Next quest. Whoosh. Oh, come on. There we go. Good. Uh, again, I know what it is. It's the same thing. Claim a potion. And so far, I have yet to be able to find a potion. Two, three, four, five. I need some skill. I need some skill. I need some buying power. Ugh, of course I don't have it. I have three buying power, but like one movement and then of course a clank production. So the clank will go up here. That's fine. I do get one movement. Now I could take this path to bounce myself over here, which may not be the worst idea because then I can head down, grab a monkey idol, swing up and around and head back up towards the uh, the market that way. You know what, with my one move, I'm gonna do that. So we're gonna go here and then whoa, swing ourselves back around to this side. There's nothing to claim on this one, but at least it's a good spot for me to just kind of catch my breath. And with that, I'm gonna take another Explorer just to kind of have more buying power with a two rather than uh, one, even though the Alchemist may be all right, but I think this will be good for right now. All right, let's go ahead into the discard pile and end our turn. This thing is not going to be very good to me. All right, what do we got? Uh, first card, and that's it. Which, of course, is my spear. It was something I was thinking about buying, but I didn't need it for anything, so I left it, and, of course, it's gone. We're going to put this here, and I don't know why this mercenary is right here. you got to go over here, dude. Thank you. Uh, Elven boots, draw a card. So i got to draw one card, draw two cards, draw three cards. I need to get some of these into my deck pronto. All right, last turn to be able to draw a potion. I don't think it's going to happen, but one, two, three. Stranger things have occurred. I could go back up if I get a, a boot, uh, possibly hitting that monster there and avoiding it. I could possibly move back up this way and hopefully have this minor secret be a potion, using maybe if I get a sword or something to defeat this guy. If not, I can take the damage. Um, I have a potion of healing, which I can be fine in order to heal myself with, but I kind of want to save that for right now. Anywho, let's see what the five I got. So now, very interesting. I have my Scramble and my Dwarven Peddler. So I gain my two coins. That's one, two. So now I have four. And this is worth four victory points if I have two of the following. If I have two of the following. Chalice, Dragon Eggs, and Monkey Isle. I also have three more buying power. I'm going to use my potion up here. Uh, of the double uh, strength, as you can see, uh, in order to have two attack value, to move one space here using one of those attack to kill this monster and gain this minor secret. Oh, I saw it. Come back here. Come back here. With a health potion. And I gained the potion. That's great. That's great. All right. So immediately complete this quest. Uh, oh, claim an unused minor secret. Even better. We're going to do that in a moment. So we'll put this over here. Got some great healing. I have my pile of minor secrets over here that I haven't been in the game. So I'm just going to take this top one and whatever this is, this is mine. Oh, I get to trash a card for my play area or my discard pile. 
Okay, that's pretty cool. But before I do any of that, I'm going to use my next movement to move back down and then the other attack from this in order to kill that monster. So that's used. I'm then going to use my four, uh, uh, what is it, uh, buying power here to buy the Elven Boots as if there's any other card here I should buy because I need to draw cards. And then because I get the Trasher card, I'm going to trash one of these Burgles. So that's going to go, this is going to go here and that's going to be a successful turn. Gone. I still have two healing potions uh, in case I need them for something. All right, what's being removed from the row? The six card, which of course is brilliant. My draw three card that I really, really wanted, but I just couldn't get enough uh, skill in order to get it. All right, whatever works. A mermaid. This turn you can move through tunnels and avoid water damage if, if you have scuba. So because this power is specific for the uh, sunken treasure, the way I've been playing this is if something like this comes out, I actually discard it. So it's just going to go back to the discard pile and I'm going to draw again. Uh, there are a few in here, great, that say that I can fight something in both a, an undersea, uh, uh, what is it, something that's underwater or in a crystal cave. And I'll leave that because I have crystal caves. But, oh, great, two orcs. But uh, because this is something that only affected my scuba gear in that expansion, I got rid of it. Doesn't really matter. Nikki attacks me and Nikki attacks me. Nikki only actually attacks me once. It doesn't matter how many of those you draw during that phase. She only attacks once. It's still uh, it's still fire coming down the tunnel. Hopefully I can dodge it once again. One, two, three. Oh my God. Oh no. Oh no. Oh man, I'm so glad I have all those healing potions because she just wrecked me. Wow, three hits in one shot. Ow. Ooh, that's gonna, that's gonna leave a mark for sure. Fight any non-goblin monster. I got two of them on there, no problem. One, two, three, four, five. Definitely need to get some more mercenaries because I need some fighting power. All right, so I got my explorer. I got three burgles, which gives me one, two, three, four, five. I'm definitely gonna be buying this bracers of agility immediately. I have one move and then I have my pickpocket. Acquire a card or use a device that costs three or less when you discard this, acquire a card device using six or less. I don't have anything that discards a card from my hand. Um, at least not yet, it's somewhere in, in the deck. Uh, but what I can do, I thought about the Alchemist, but I think I'm gonna go with the Mercenary because I need the fighting power. So I'm gonna take the, fight, the Mercenary and I'm going to take the Bracers of Agility with my remaining skill. Items in order to be able to draw through my deck make for a much better experience in the game. So. Uh, oh wait, before I even do that, I put everything away. I had uh, two movements, so where do I want to move? Uh, I really don't want to, but I'm going to. I'm going to move down into the Monkey Shrine, which unfortunately will give me another point of damage because I don't have any fight in order to hit this monster. But I am going to take this Monkey Idol right here, put that up here with our treasures, and then my second movement will be to come out of here down uh, to this spot. So maybe I can move... Oh wait, you're a major seeker over there. Uh, I may be able to go back up to the market, collect some minor secrets, and then um, earn some more coins so I can buy stuff. All right, next turn, let's go ahead and discard the first and fourth. Oh man, thank God I bought those bracers because they would have been gone, but the ruby is gone and no other effects, so let's refill a medic. Oh man, perfect and perfect. And now here you go, discard a card to gain a health, and then my pickpocket would be perfect for that because I could discard my pickpocket to do something crazy. So maybe I should think about picking up the medic on my next turn. Okay, here we go. I still got to fight a non-goblin monster. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Also perfect. Got my mercenary as I figured I would. So I definitely would be killing that orc grunt. I got my stumble, got my burgle boots, uh, and then sidestep and explore. Well, straight up to attack, going to kill this grunt right here. So he's gone, and that earns me three gold. So I'm just going to put these two gold back and take a five. One clank does go up here, so that's that. I'm going to turn this burgle boot into a movement, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend one movement to go up here and get this minor secret, which enables me to trash a card in my discard pile or play area, which is awesome. And then, let me take that off, and I'm going to use the two boots that I had to move into the market. So I'm gonna go ahead and trash this other stumble card uh, because I don't want it in my deck anymore. I hate producing Clank and this little uh, 
token here, as you can see up here, enabled me to do just that. And now I have three buying power, and man, I should, I should start grabbing these guys just because I think they're going to help me a lot. I'm going to take the Alchemist. I'm going to take the Alchemist just because he gives me at least two buying power to skill in order to be able to buy stuff uh, in the future. All right, let's put this here. I'm not going to buy anything from the market yet. I'm going to wait until uh, a future turn to do that. But unfortunately, we have finished this turn, so let's see what the app... Um, I, oh, no, I did it, so I can actually do the quest. Hold on. All right, so let's go ahead and finish that quest because I did kill a non-goblin. Oh, the rage goes down one. Cool, that's awesome. He goes whoosh down back to where she was. She's a little bit calmer for some reason. And she immediately attacks. Isn't that great? All right, so this goes into the bag. More shuffling around. At this point, I wouldn't mind grabbing some of the threat cubes that I put in there. But again, it's only three cubes. So let's see what we got. One, two, three. And again, she misses. I mean, she completely obliterated me before. I'm happy with the miss. All right, so let's take these back over here. We'll hit OK. And now we get to claim a major secret within three turns. Possible. Very possible but we'll uh, we'll take this one step at a time. Actually, before I did that, I should have did this. Oh no, she hits me again. Oh no. So that's pretty much what this, you know, the, the app tells me that I get hit, uh, and then this goes again. Oh, actually, the vault, um, use only in the depth. So the depths do not exist in this uh, game, so this goes away. This would have went here, which stinks either way. And that goes there, so I get a coin purse. I should have drawn another cube. I wonder how many of these I've missed. So uh, for this particular run, it's one, two, three. Each one of these adds a cube to my pull. So that's four, five, and I'm going to draw a sixth one because I know I forgot to draw that the last time. In fact, I'm pretty sure I've been forgetting to draw them every single time, so she could have been nailing me even more. So six cubes coming out. We have three and... Oh gosh, three. Oh boy. Oh, look at all that threat. Oh no. Okay, so just like normal health, the threat's going to go down here uh, to this part of the board, and that's going to build up the same way as my health. Didn't mean to knock this over. And uh, <laughs> I may need to use my healing potion soon. I really should have bought that medic. That's why I was confused, because I had already had taken one of these earlier and, tr and uh, bought it and used it and then another one came out i must have missed when it came out either way it doesn't matter one two three four five let's see what we got whole lot of buying power here so we got that we got two three four okay so one two three four five six seven seven this turn oh that's nice i do get to do a movement and i'm going to move over here but i'm not going to pick up this um what is it uh artifact yet I'd rather try to get one of the more powerful ones. I may even buy the key in order to be able to get through all of these locks just to make it a little easier getting back up and around. Now, I could buy that Sacred Tome, which would actually work with my Alchemist. Uh, if you have a Sacred Tome in play or discard pile, gain two gold. That would be great to have, but that's kind of a waste right now because it just clogs up my deck. I need the Medic for sure. So that's one, two. I'm just going to get rid of the Dragon Shrine, three, four, five, six. And this enables me to trash a card in your player discard area, and I'm going to trash a Burgle just to kind of get rid of it and uh, thin out my deck a little bit more. Uh, the Dragon Shrine goes back here, and at least that's gone from the uh, pile, and that's one less cube that I have to draw if Nikki attacks. No major secret claimed. The third and the fourth card go. One, two, three. Shortcut is gone. That's been around for a while. And four we already have. So that's good. Ooh, the Mountain King. Pipe organ and fishing pole. Draw a card, then discard a card. Fantastic. Move the dragon marker one space up or down the rage track. Even better. I could use both of these. And then if you have a crown, he gives a, a sword and a movement in addition to two buying power. And he's also worth three victory points. You're really nice too. No guarantee I'm going to be able to get, there we go, let's see, back here, uh, this many, but one, two, three, four, five, I almost tried to go six. Hopefully I'll get a lot of buying power. And I keep calling it buying power, but it's skill, that's exactly what it is. So we got the Dwarven Peddler, which gives me uh, two uh, gold, which is great, 
Elven Boots, which enables me to draw a card. So I'm going to do that also. And then Scramble. I got a lot of movement here. Another si a Sidestep. Explorer. And then the Burgle Boots. So the Dwarven Peddler gives me the two. So I'm just going to go ahead and add those two up here, which is great. I drew my card already. Movement, movement, movement. And then what do I want to do here? I still have two turns in order to claim a major secret. And I think I'm going to try to claim this major secret. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go one, two to pick up this minor secret, which gives me double attack, which I could possibly use. Three, four, five to also pick up this minor secret, which gives me two more skill for the turn. Oh, that's fun. So I'm actually going to use this uh, double attack right now to defeat the Orc Grunt, getting that out of here because I don't like it, and then gaining three uh, gold. So that puts me at 12 gold. And then I have an additional two. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. I should just take the Mountain King because I can buy a crown like immediately and I'm almost guaranteed to have gold enough in order to be able to buy what else I need. All right, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna take the Mountain King. I thought I would want to get rid of these two because they're only one a piece, but that's a lot that would go into here and more chances for Nikki to hit me. All right, so I don't need that. That's discarded. You were here, so that goes to my discard pile. Unfortunately, we did not uh, claim a major token, but we had a lot of movement and we gained a lot of other stuff. Actually, this is gone as well. Sorry about that. So let's go ahead and do the next turn. And the fourth card is gone. One, two, three, four. And that's my fishing pole. I really like that because of the draw discard ability, because I have cards now that do stuff if I discard them. But hey, what are you going to do? All right, so uh, Grand Plan, five uh, worth seven victory points if you have at least three market items. Oh, gosh. Uh, Archaeologist, draw a card. If you have a monkey idol, which I do, maybe I'll grab you. And then three, <laughs> Serpent of the Ape Lord. Uh, Scepter, I said Serpent. Scepter of the Ape Lord. Uh, three skill, which is amazing. Uh, it only costs three, but it gives me three clank. You know, three monkeys. See no here, see no evil. Uh, hear no evil, speak no evil. Whatever, that's what the monkey idols are. Moving on, claim a major secret within one turn. I'm gonna try to do that this turn. One, two, three, four, five. Hopefully I can do that with one simple movement. And I should be able to. I got my pickpocket here, which is great. I also do have uh, two mercenaries and two burgles. The two mercenaries are gonna be really nice because I'm gonna do a movement to go into the crystal cave here, and that's going to use one of my swords to defeat this monster and thus not take the damage. Going to here gains me this major secret, ooh, which is a chalice. Oh, that's great. That's seven points. Oh, yes. Victory will be mine, I hope. Oh, boy. This also means that I have claimed a secret, so let's go ahead and do that. And I gain an unused minor secret. Uh, let's go ahead with this one. Oh, another dragon egg. As great as that is, um, the rage meter still goes up. Because I would say that it affects regardless of anything. So that moves up here, and now I have four in order to use. Actually, I have four, and I have three swords left. So the first thing that's going to die is the Saurian. So one, two, three, gone. And then that also earns me four gold. So I'll put that back, and I'll put that gold there. I have a lot of gold, but I'm going to be doing a lot of market buying soon. As for my four, I'm definitely going to take the Archaeologist because I have a Monkey Idol, so that would be awesome. And then even though I have two left, I should get the Mercenary, but I'm going to get this Pipe Organ and use it just because I want to pull down that Rage Tracker. So that goes down here. This will go into the discard pile up there, and then these will go into my discard pile. That was a good turn. Go ahead and do this. Uh, the second and the fourth, and if any are worth victory points... Uh, I add three clank. One, two, three, four. Both are gone already, so I don't have to worry about that at all. But I do refill. Oh, a teleporter. Oh, that's good. Sleight of hand, you're mine. I must get you. Oh, and the braces of agility, more draw card. So this discards a card to draw two. And again, I have a lot of cards that do stuff if I discard them. So good. All right, moving on. Clear the fourth card in the dungeon row. That's the braces of agility. I want those anyway. Which, speaking of which, there they are, Braces of Agility. So I draw two cards immediately. So I have the Medic here. I can discard a card in order to gain a health. And I'm going to discard my Sidestep, because I really don't need too, too much movement this round. 
And so by doing that, I'm going to heal one of me. So that's, that's a better, I mean, it's still not great, but it's better. And then I get two coins from the Dwarven Peddler. Um, I don't know what else I want to do. I have Scramble and I have a movement here. Unfortunately, I have to use one of my movements to go back through this here, and that's going to do that damage right back to me that I healed. I do have two potions, but I'll, I'll probably use that in a minute. I'm going to move down one for this movement, and then before I do anything else, I am going to spend seven coins. So I'll spend these here and gain back three to gain the key. What the key does is it enables me to move through these locked passages. So now I'm going to use my third boot to go down to this crystal cavern here and see what this is. Two coins. Beautiful. Got a refund. That's amazing. And actually, I'm going to use these burgle boots just to give me another coin. So I'm going to bring these away and put this here. Oh, cool. All right. So I still have just as many coins uh, now as I did before. Not a lot of skill to buy stuff, but I should have enough to do what I want to do. Oh, I have four skill for the teleporter. You know what? I'm going to do it. So the way the teleporter works is I get to move to an adjacent room. It doesn't matter what's in the hallway or whatever, or the corridor or whatever you want to call it. I bypass it completely. So I'm going to spend all four skill to teleport over here and immediately grab this artifact, the 25 point artifact. This is going to go right up here with all my other stuff. And unfortunately, Nikki is going to be really pissed off because now I've taken another thing of hers that doesn't belong to me, but I say it does anyway. The teleporter goes here. I could not uh, get the fourth card, which was the bracers, but that's all right. Let's go ahead and put this here. That's all I got. Next turn, the third card, and it just automatically adds four threat. Whoa. One, two, three, four, and then I realized that fourth, that third card is Sleight of Hand, which I love that card so, so much. Ugh, that stinks. I, I was really hoping to grab that. Sneak and Ladder. Nice double movement right there. That's something I may want to think about using. All right, let's go ahead over, clear the fourth card. I have to do it in this turn or else I don't get anything. One, two, three, four, five. I may want to think about running to the end of the dungeon now because I got my artifact. I've gotten a lot of other things and I'm kind of getting scared. So yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely, uh, definitely thinking about just getting the heck out of here. My mercenary will help me a lot uh, just because I can kind of move around a little bit better. Uh, and then I have a movement and the pickpockets might help. Elven boots, draw a card. Thank you. More movement and more skill. So I have one, two, three, four movement. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven skill. And one, two, three swords. Man, I really wish that I had gotten the uh, the bag that's here, but that's okay. So we're going to go one movement here using my two uh, swords from my mercenary to defeat these two guys. That's one movement done. Then I can use one, two movement to move up here. So that is good. I can't pick it up because I don't have any means of uh, putting it in a backpack. I don't have any means of putting this into my backpack. Uh, and then I have one more movement. If I move up, I'm definitely going to be taking a damage, but I could use the corridor to go right and then go up from there. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to go right back into the crystal cave. I can't move anywhere, but because I have the key, I can transfer through this. So there you go. Big circle that happened here. Uh, one, two, three. I know I get the heal too. I'm going to heal myself. So I, the pickpocket gets me three or less. I think what I may do is I can use a device or I can get a card for three or less. I'm going to activate the ladder here. So I'm going to grab this and use the ladder, which the ladder grants me two more movement. So then I can go, I'm going to go one, two right here and then just kind of work my way up this way uh, the best I can. But before I do anything else, I'm going to spend some gold. We'll take these two away, give me back three, because it's seven to buy anything in the market. And I'm going to get myself this crown here, which is worth 10 points. I thought about maybe getting a backpack for another artifact, but I can just buy this crown and be fine with it. I also have one, two, three, four, five. If I manage to get two more gold, I'll just buy another crown and then run away. I think that pretty much covers everything. So now my skill is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, just for the sake of having it and having points in my deck, grabbing this secret tome right here because this adds seven victory points to my uh, final score. 
I'll add that here. The ladder can actually go back here into the discard pile. Gonna go and put this away. I know I should have uh, bought the Bracers of Agility because that's what the quest said, but I think uh, I'd rather have that for right now. Unfortunately, my quest has failed, so I lose two gold. Oh man, next turn. And the fifth card is gone. One, two, three, four, five. The coin purse is gone. Let's go ahead and refill with a treasure hunter and ancient invocation. So the treasure hunter, you place a card in the dungeon row. Uh, the other one is plus two clank, teleport to an adjacent room. So you make noise, but you can go to an adjacent room. That is awesome. That is fantastic. In either way, I need to get a lot of boots in order to be able to get out of here. One, two, three, four, five. That wants me to use a device. There are no devices out right now. And <laughs> I have no movement uh, within this whole thing. What is the archaeologist? I do have a monkey idol, so it's two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven um, skill. I do get two coins, so I get my two coins back. Or I'm just going to take this just because I like it. Uh, because I have a sacred tome in play or my discard pile from my alchemist. Um, should I attack the goblin? Yeah, let's attack the goblin for one. Hooray, so I gain one coin. And then I have uh, my skill. I'm going to take the Bracers of Agility for five. And the Ancient Invocation for two, because I can just bounce from tunnel to tunnel. That'll be fun. All right, and I only have six gold, so I can't actually buy uh, another market item, which would have been great. But uh, there we go. That's, that's what's happening right now. Next turn the fourth, and I just have to add three clank. So let's just add our three clank up here. That's getting full again. This is already empty, so I don't have to worry about it. Bushka, boom. All right, so dead run, plus two clank. You don't have to stop in crystal caves. I want you. And then uh, crystal golem, you can only fight them in crystal caves, uh, which are you know, the special stopping points. But if you beat it, you get three skills. So it's a good thing in order to get a, a pretty expensive card. However, I do want this dead run. How many turns have I got left? I got two turns to use the device. There are no devices out. Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and shuffle this up. Give me some movement. Give me some speed. Give me some ability to get the heck out of here, please. So one, two, three, four, five. Yoink! And right, so I'm going to go down with the Elven Boots first to draw a card. I'm going to use my Burgle Boots and just get minus two Clank because I don't like seeing all of that up there. My pickpocket will come in, and I get to acquire a card to use a device that's three or less. I'm acquiring the dead run immediately, so this is going to go to my discard pile. And then a few a skill, another movement, and then some sword. So one, two, three movement. Sure. One, two, three. Remember, I can move through these. Well, actually, hold on a second. Before I go anywhere, I'm going to use my two swords in order to gain another coin, and then I'm going to spend all those coins to get another crown. Why? Because I want the points and I just want to get out of here. So now I can go one, two, three for all my boots. I do take a damage here, but I'm going to use one of my potions in order to uh, negate that damage. And then I have one, two, three, four to spend. Now I'm just looking for points. Give me that scepter of the ape lord. Yes, I generate three clank, but I'm getting out of here. So whatever. All right, again, I did not use a device because there are no devices to be used. So next turn, the second and the fourth card, which is Sneak and the Crystal Golem. Oh my God, that's a lot of cards going down. Oh no, almost a guarantee Nikki's coming. Oh, there she is. I knew it. Oh man, I knew it. Oh boy, look at all that stuff. Whoa, treasure map. Oh man, I mean, again, she doesn't attack three times. She only attacks once, but man, that's, that's going to be brutal. So all of the threat goes in, my one cube goes in, and I'm drawing three cubes plus nothing else. There's nothing else there, so that's fine. So just three cubes. One, two, three. Oh, man, two threat and a black cube. So these can go down here, and this can go over here. Mad dash for the end, my friends. Mad dash for the end. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see if I can actually get out of here with my wits intact. Bracer of Agility, one, two into my hand. Sacred Tome means nothing. Medic, discarding a card to heal. I'm going to get rid of, I'm going to discard my Burgle. This is all kind of messed up. I apologize for that, but I am going to actually discard, uh, I'm going to heal one of my threats 
in order to make that go down. You can heal threat, you just can't remove it from the clank banner. And then I got two movements, two swords, and uh, a little bit of skill. So I'm gonna move up one, take this major secret. Oh, I get to draw three cards. And a one, and a two, and a three. Um, so it's just a lot of skill that I've earned. Uh, if you have a sacred tomb and your player discard, oh cool, I get two gold. Sweet, all right, so that just goes over here. And then I'm gonna use, go back down this way, and I've used my sword twice, and once going up here to kill it, and once going down that way. So that's one sword up, one sword down. All right, let's see, what do we got here? So we got one, two, three, four. You get two gold, so that's fine. Five, six, seven, eight, nine skill this time in order to uh, buy some stuff with. I'm gonna take me a sapphire and a grand plan. That's that's a big, <laughs> some big points and some good stuff in order to be able to go. Uh, I, what stinks about this is, do I really want the grand plan? Actually, no. No, I don't because I don't have uh, the backpack. Singing sword it is. Hurrah, sounds good to me. Okay, again, we need to just run as fast as we can to get out of here. I did not use a device, so I lose one gold. That's really kind of whatever. Next turn. Second and th <laughs> second and fifth. Uh, second is gone. Fifth is the treasure map. And we reload with some boots of swiftness. Hello, look at all of that movement. Uh, Mermaid goes away because she's part of something else that I can't use. Rebel Brawler. New quest, claim an artifact. Yeah, that's not gonna happen either. One, two, three, four, five. Doesn't matter whatever it is that I get. First, we're gonna Bracer of Agility. So one comes to my hand and then I gotta shuffle these. Uh, yeah. um, okay, cool. All right, Dwarf and Peddler, we'll use that first because we do gain the two gold and I gain a movement, which I'm gonna go up here. And then I have my Ancient Invocation, which puts two Clank into the Clank spot, but it enables me to teleport. So, right over here we go. And then I have two more movement, which will put me out of the dungeon. I will also do this, and I'll gain a coin, because they're all worth victory points at the end. So one, two, and I have escaped with all of the spoils, yeah, <laughs> awesome. All right, so what does that mean for us? We have escaped the dungeon, so it is now game over. We have finished. Are you sure you, is the game is over and would like to score the game now? Yes, let us score our game. Here we go, boom. How did Green Thief fare? That's me. Did I die in it? No, did I score, uh, did I get rescued? Which means if I died in the upper half? Nope, I escaped. So I have the 20 point mastery token. That is awesome. What artifacts did I steal? I stole only this one. I only stole the, uh, the, the, what is it? This thing right here. This is the only one that I stole the armor of sorts. So that's click there. I didn't get anything else. So, okay. Uh, gold wise, I have Four in my reserve, which is great. That's actually really, uh, it's not that great. I had a lot more as I went along, but considering how much stuff I bought, I'll take it. All right, now all my tokens. Not counting that, which I am surprised I didn't use it all. Uh, I have five, 10, 20, and then 29, 29, 30, 31, 32, 39, 42, right? 42? That's 42, right, everybody? So 42 it is in there. And now for my cards. Hold on a second, let me just count them up. Okay, so I'm just going to move this out of the way. So we'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, this is worth four, so 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 34 points in victory points in my cards. So 34 brings me to a grand total of 125 points. Ooh, that's probably one of my best scores that I've gotten on this. Oh man, that was awesome. 
God, that was great. Uh, that was a lot of fun. I'm glad that I was able to get as far down as I was and grab uh, the more expensive artifact. I wish I got a second one, but hey, you know what? You do what you gotta do. That was fun, and that actually was way more successful than I have ever been playing solo mode of Clank. As I said before, I kind of chicken out halfway through whenever I play this. I'll get down to maybe the 15-point or the 10-point artifact and think to myself, oh, I'll just get a backpack, I'll get a bigger one, I'll grab more stuff, yada, yada, yada. But, you know, I'll start taking damage from the dragon, and I'm like, oh, time to go, run away. And I'll only end up scoring anywhere between, I think my lowest score was like 62 points, and my highest score prior to this one right now was like 90. So, I, I don't know, I... I I think diving in and really taking the time to find the secrets, to get the biggest uh, artifact, possibly should have bought a backpack in order to be able to get another few points, but you know, grabbing a few uh, crowns is fine also. Uh, you can hold as many of those items as you want. I could have bought the other key if I really wanted to. Didn't do anything, but it would have cost seven gold to get a five victory point item, and that's silly because the gold is worth victory points at the end of the game too, so I would have lost two. So it, it, it's kind of a picky choosy about what it is that you should buy and shouldn't buy as you go through and what you're brave enough in order to endure while you're down there in the dungeon. Guys, thank you so much for coming along on this adventure with me. Let me know what you think of Clank down in the comments below, whether it is that you played the solo variant or you've played with multiple people. How do you play? What's your best score you've ever gotten? And would you ever consider playing the solo if you haven't already? Let me know all of that down in the comments below. I would love to hear it. As for what's happening next, got the red side of the map right here. You can see it up in the sky. This is an advanced mode, a much more difficult map to get through than you would see on the standard blue sky side. I've actually never played this. I've looked at it a few times, but at least with the blue side, I've played like four or five times so I can kind of get a good idea of the paths and everything. This one I've never played before, so being able to play this for you guys is going to be really exciting, and I hope you guys are going to hang around with me as you watch me do that. So, as always, thank you guys so much. You have been amazing. Take care of yourselves and each other. We are family forever, gaming together. Regardless if we are diving down through these depths by ourselves or with a party, let's all take the time to help each other get as much treasure as possible. Unless there's a dragon on your tail, in which case, you better run faster than the person in front of you. Till next time, you guys have a good one. Later.